This is video number 11. Uh, we're looking at different problems in forward analysis. The uh, playlist for all the videos is uh, taken at the website at digital-university.org. Okay, in the last video, we had found a Fourier expansion for a uh, sine function where we're taking the absolute value of it. So we get this kind of a wave pattern where this is pi, this would be 2 pi, and we found a expression for uh, a four-way expansion. We used the trigonometric form of the four-way expansion. In this video, again, we're going to take a look at the sine function, we're taking the absolute value of it, only this time we're going to expand it by using the exponential form of the four-way expansion. Now, the function here is a sine of lambda times t. Now, when you completed one complete cycle, then that's times t, capital T meaning the period. So, the sine of lambda capital T equals zero. So, that implies then that and uh, capital T must be equal to pi, or T is equal to pi divided by lambda. So that's the period, pi over lambda, and 2 pi over lambda, and so forth. And we say that for this problem, we want to use the exponential of complex form, the four-way expansion. So the formulas are, as we discussed, I think it was in video number five, the function f of t, that will equal the sum from n equal minus infinity to plus infinity of c sub n e to the i n omega naught T and C sub n equals one over T. The integral of f of T e to the minus i and omega naught times T and T. And this is small t now. This is not the period obviously. This is the period, this is capital T. So here, omega naught, that's equal to, as we discussed in video number one, I think number five, that's equal to this. And for our problem, for this particular problem, the period T, that equals pi over lambda. So, in the expression here, omega naught, that will equal 2 pi times lambda over pi, or omega naught will equal 2 times lambda. And then, in this expression, 1 over t, that will be lambda over pi. And we are integrating from 0 to pi over lambda. And f of t is, going to, is the sine of lambda times t. And of course, omega naught, that will be 2 lambda. And so with that in mind, um, let's determine then what c sub n is. And before we do that, Let's make some room.
Okay, so the general formula for C sub n, n is 1 over the period. And in this case, we're integrating from 0 to pi over lambda. And now we're going to have the sine of t e to the minus i n omega naught t. Now, in this problem, omega naught, that equals 2 times lambda. And 1 over the period that for t equals lambda of pi over lambda. So 1 over t, that's lambda over pi. Okay, so it should be set up. Solve this integral and determine what is c sub n. Notice again, uh, we have the integral one function times another function. In the uh, past videos, we were able to solve these types of uh, integrals um, by integrating by parts. Um, here, let's try a little bit of a different approach. Remember that e to the i theta equals the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And e to the minus i theta, that equals cosine of theta minus i. Times the sine of theta. So if we subtract these two, e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta, that will equal this minus negative that. That would be 2i. times the sine of theta. Well, the sine of theta will equal this divided by 2 times i. i, of course, is the square root of negative 1. So, here then, we could say that the sine of t we actually wrote this wrong here. This is the sine of lambda times t. And the sine of lambda t, that would be equal to e to the i lambda t minus e to the i minus lambda t divided by 2i. So let's put that into here. So now we're going to have that cm equals lambda over pi. Integral from 0 to pi over lambda. Now for the sine, that's going to be 1 over 2i times e to the i lambda t minus e to the minus i lambda t. times e to the minus i n 2 lambda t dt. Okay, so we can multiply across here and what do we get? Let's put the integral into two parts. So c sub n will equal lambda divided by 2i pi, and then we'll have this integral, 0 pi over lambda. We're going to multiply these two together, 
So we'll have E, we have I, lambda, 2 lambda, and T, and this has a minus by it, so we'll have I times 1 minus 2N, lambda T. Yes, okay, we're okay with that. Then from this we have minus 1 over 2i pi. We could go up the same limits. And now we're going to multiply these together. So we'll have p, e, and there's a minus sign here. Now we'll have 1 plus 2n lambda t dt. Okay, so let's integrate this one. I think it should be pretty straightforward. Get things in better position. Okay, so c sub n will equal lambda divided by 2i pi, and then from here, we're going to have i1 minus 2n. And then we have e to the i1 minus 2n and the t lambda goes 0, t goes from 0 to pi over lambda. That's this integral. Before we go further, let's see if we can figure out what this is. So, here, in fact, things are getting crowded. Let's just demarcate these two. Okay, so here, this is going to be, for t, we're going to put in pi over lambda. So, we have c sub n equals pi, and here we have pi squared, that's negative 1, so let's put a minus sign here, and we have 2 pi times 1 minus 2n, and from here we're going to have e to the i, 1 minus 2n, lambda, and then t is pi over lambda, back from 0 the pi over lambda for t, so these cancel. And that's pi. Minus when t is evaluated at zero, t to the zero is one. Okay, so this, and we have other, we have minus this part too, the C sub n. This just comes for the first integral here. We haven't evaluated this one yet. Okay. So C sub n will equal this part minus other things that we haven't considered yet. Okay, but what is this? Here we have 1 minus 2n pi. Well, this is equal to the cosine of this plus i times the sine of this. So we have cosine in this expression, 1 minus 2n pi, and we have plus i times the sine of that. One minus two n times pi. The 
if that's just zero, any multiple of pi, sine of any multiple of pi is zero, this is an even number, that's an odd number, and we take the difference, we're going to have an odd number, and the cosine of any odd multiple of pi is negative one. So this right here then is negative one. So let's put that into here. And we have negative 1 minus 1. That's negative 1 plus negative 1. That's negative 2. And then over here, we have a negative sign. So this is going to be negative 2 times, this is going to be 2 times lambda in the numerator. So we have two times lambda divided by two pi times one minus two n. Now that came from the first integral. This one here. Now we have to consider this integral. I think we're coming up against a time limit here. Um, let's come back. We'll break this up into two parts, this video. We'll come back and we will figure out what this integral is. should be pretty straightforward, really. And that will give us our entire expression for C sub n, and we should be able to solve the rest of the problem pretty quickly. So come back, join us for the next video. Let's try and get this problem finished.